All right, so I have gotten some water. I'm gonna start with the right side of the heart. Now, the valve that's between the right atrium and the right ventricle is called the tricuspid valve. So I'm gonna put some water. You can do this in the sink, remember? And I have some water in there. Now, I'm not sure how well I'll be able to capture this on camera, but the first thing I want you to do is to gently pump this heart. And when you gently pump, you should be able to see that tricuspid valve inside there opening and closing. So I can see it just a little bit. I'm not sure how well my camera is capturing it, but it does open and close. You can see the valve. Now this is the part where it's kind of fun. So fill up the right side and then, you know, stand back a little and then squeeze it like you're pumping. And where did that water come out? Did you see it? Now where that water came out, think about which artery that would be. Remember it's an artery because it goes away from the heart. And remember that the right side pumps to the lungs. So we call everything that pumps to the lungs. Yes, you're right, you said pulmonary, I hope. Um, so it is the pulmonary artery where that water just came out. Now you can also do the left side of the heart. The left side of the heart has a bicuspid valve, more often called the mitral valve. And this one's not quite as easy to see, but you can still do the fun thing where you pump it and see where the water came out that time it came out of the aorta. So once you've had your fill of pumping water through your heart, then you can cut open the rest of your heart. That will be our next step.